Want to add a little kick to your turkey burgers? Well, this spicy jalapeno turkey burger recipe is the perfect way to spice up your dinner. So let's get cooking. Welcome back. So the first step is to take a small bowl and we're gonna combine our cream cheese, our cheddar cheese, our jalapenos and our garlic powder and we're gonna cream that all together. So I'll first add in the cream cheese, that shredded reduced fat cheddar cheese, our garlic powder, as well as those diced jalapenos. You just wanna cream this all together, so we're just gonna blend it. So it's all been blended together. So the next step is we're just gonna set that aside and we're taking another bowl and we have our ground turkey all measured out and ready to go. So to our ground turkey, we're going to add in our salt and pepper and our minced onion. And you're just going to combine this all together. Right, that's all combined and so the next step we're just going to divide our meat into four different sections or four pieces because this recipe does make four servings so we're going to form our burgers so the next step is to take our cream cheese mixture we're just going to take a quarter of this and we're going to flatten it into a pancake shape And then you will take a section of that ground turkey and we're just going to form it around our cream cheese mixture. We're gonna just wrap it around and we're just gonna make sure, whoops, <laughs> we're just gonna make sure that cream cheese is all covered. We don't want any of it to escape while we're preparing and cooking our burger. And yes, this is a little messy, as you can see. You could certainly use some gloves if that would make it easier. But I did wash my hands, and I will be washing them again for sure. And we'll do that for all four of our burgers. So the next step is to go ahead and preheat our pan over medium heat. And you can also grill this outdoors as well. Today I'm just using our indoor stove and it's gonna work perfectly. So I've got my pan is warming up right here. And so friends, if you've enjoyed this recipe so far, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. The next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of olive oil and just brush the tops here of each one of these burgers. And then I'll flip them over and brush the other side. So I'm just going to brush the other side with that olive oil. And we're just using a tablespoon for both sides. So it doesn't really take all that much. So we're just going to go ahead and cook our burgers, oh, for about six to seven minutes. And then we will go ahead and flip those over. Uh, but we just want to make sure that uh, we cook them about six to seven minutes on each side until it's no longer pink. And it's time to flip our burgers over and we'll cook those for another six to seven minutes on this side. And you can see what happens when you don't seal the uh, turkey meat all around the edges. If you can see right there where I'm pointing, the cheese is starting to ooze out. And so it's all fine 
but we do want to keep all that cheese on the inside so make sure that you put that meat mixture all around that cheese all right our burgers are done and now it's time to plate them up and i am going to be um, using my burger with a piece of romaine lettuce so i'm going to form a lettuce wrap um, for a healthier version and i just wanted to mention as far as the jalapenos inside of the burgers you could certainly use fresh jalapenos, remove the membranes and the seeds, um, depending on how hot you like it, or you can certainly use canned jalapenos as well. And then I did use that ground turkey, but you can substitute and use ground beef, ground chicken, or even Beyond Burger as well. It works great for all different types of protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these burgers place it right in the middle of my romaine lettuce leaf. And I'm going to top with a fresh slice of tomato and it is ready to eat. Yum, doesn't that look yummy? You certainly could top with additional jalapenos as well or any of your favorite toppings. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I will also be putting in a link for a couple of my other fantastic recipes that you're sure to love as well. So thanks again for watching Debbie's Healthy Kitchen and let's go eat. Bye-bye.